Hello everyone and welcome back to the final stage of the hand pump water well. Uh, I was up, just came home from the tent maybe an hour ago and just before I left this morning I took a sample of water from the well and uh, if you guys haven't watched those videos I've got the whole process going up to it. And uh, last week I had ordered a water test kit which came in the mail so now we're going to test this water. We'll go in and I'll show you it does several tests we're going to run through. The biggest one that I'm worried about is bacteria. There are several in here that I know are going to be high on different things like the hardness of the water, iron, and stuff like that. I mean, it's in the iron range. There's a lot of iron in the water. You can see that, that all the water up there has this, this kind of a color to it because of all the iron that's in the water. But anyway, we're going to go through like the, uh, uh, the bacteria one takes 48 hours, but we'll go through this. Some of them will get instant results. So let's check it out and see if we can drink this water. So this is what this test tests for. It does for coliform bacteria, pesticides, nitrates, lead, iron, nitrites, hardness, pH, chlorine, and copper. And with this test kit it kind of tells, it goes right down here and tells the different things that that it does to the body and everything like that. So it's an interesting test. Um, I'm, I'm mainly interested in the uh, bacteria but we'll go through and test these up. Okay, for our bacteria one here, I need to fill this vial up, well, to the five milliliter mark, which I've made a little mark because I could barely see it. I'm gonna do this over the sink. Okay, so we're up to there to put the cap on. Shake it real good. And now I have to let this set for 48 hours and then we'll see what color it is. All right, the next one we are going to do is the copper test kit. Open the water safe test kit and remove the copper test strip and immerse into the water for 30 seconds. Okay, that's 30 seconds. I'm supposed to just shake it and then we wait for two minutes. Okay, well it's been two minutes. Now I'm supposed to put it up to this color chart right here. A little darker than zero. A little darker than 0 0.05. And not as dark as one. So that one I'm going to mark as dead center here, which isn't too bad. Which is good because copper, it says, can, uh, can cause you kind of to have a stomach ache if there's too much in there. So. Anyway, that's our copper. We'd say about, I don't know, 0. I don't know, maybe between a half and one, so 0.75, you know, so. The next one is iron. Okay, so here is our iron test strip. And this one here doesn't really do anything. It causes, of course, reddish brown stains on stuff. And <laughs> looking at the water, I know that the iron should be high up there. So I'll get this open and then we'll do this test. Okay, for our iron test instructions, we just put this in here and wave it around for five seconds. Two, three, four, five. We take it out, we shake off the excess, and we have to wait two minutes. Okay, so our two minutes are up. Let's see, this sometimes is easier here. That's not five. It's closer to one. I'm guessing that there's probably around two is my guess on that one there. So we are going to mark that one right about here. Next one is the nitrate and nitrate test. Okay, so for the nitrates it seems like it's a little bit more complicated because I have to leave these in for only two seconds pull it out there's going to be two of them on here and it's only going to be stable for one minute so I put it in for two seconds after one minute I check the colors and I have one minute to check them let me get this open okay so you can see there's two pads on here there's one here and one here the top one is going to be the bottom one and the bottom one is going to be the top one there so we're going to go in for two seconds one two pull it out start our stopwatch for one minute. Okay, while well that minute is going up here for the nitrates and nitrites, uh, nitrates uh, is from fertilizers and animal waste, and uh, nit 
nitrites are from fertilizer and animal waste also. So both of them are can cause de developmental problems. Okay, one minute is up. So the top one, or the bottom one, I'm sorry. Boy, I, I don't know. It's maybe point f zero to point five, and the bottom one. I say between 0 and 0.15 because it's not very dark. It's more of a, yeah, so I don't know. They're both really low, I guess we can say that. So this one's going to be here. And this one, I'm going to say maybe right there. Okay, this is our pH, the total hardness, and the total chlorine. Okay, this one we put into the water and remove immediately and hold the strip level for 15 seconds. Okay, so since we have limited time on this one, let's take a look at what it is before we do it. The one on the end of the pad, which is pH. pH uh, can cause heavy metal, lead, leaching, plumbing damage. Okay, I don't think we're going to have too much trouble with that one. The total hardness causes lime scale and higher detergent use. I imagine we're going to be really hard on that. And the total chlorine, which is this top one here, uh, byproducts can increase cancer risk, bad taste, and smell. All right, here we go. Put this in, take it out immediately, hold it level for 15 seconds. Okay, 15 seconds are up on the pH end. Not quite 7.5, a little higher though than 6. Point. You know what, it might be between 6 and 6.5. I'm going to have to say that's pretty close to 6.5, so we're going to go with this one. Total hardness, oh great. I'm colorblind. Not 4.25. I'd say 250. We've got pretty hard water. And for the total chlorine, that's about as close to zero as you can get. So we're going to go zero. I don't imagine there's much chlorine in the water that far north. All right. Okay, this is for the lead and the pesticide instructions, and this one is actually a little bit more complicated. I have to open up the packet. There's a vial in there. I have to put exactly two dropper fulls, not two drops, dropper fulls of water into the vial. Then I swirl it for several seconds and I place it on a flat surface. Then I place both of the test strips into the vial with the arrows pointing down. I'm going to wait 10 minutes, pull the strips, and then we'll read the results. All right, I'll get this one opened up. Okay, here you can see our two test strips. The yellow one is lead, the blue one is pesticide. This is our little dropper thing. We're supposed to compress this completely down. There's one. Two. Now I'm supposed to just swirl this gently for a few seconds. several seconds it says. Place this on a flat surface and put the strips in. The arrows pointing down. All right, we'll start the stopwatch. We'll be back in 10 minutes. Okay, so our 10 minutes are up. Okay, I had to stop for a second so I could read it. So uh, it gets a line. We've got like, there's an 11 and a 22. So negative, the left line next to number one is darker than the right line next to the number two. For positive, it's the opposite. So on both of these, the blue line is close to the number one. Oh, I see, it's not 11, 22. They just cut these off. That's a one and a two. So for uh, this test here, which my lead and my pesticide, both of them are negative.
All right, so looking at our total results minus the bacteria, we're still waiting on that one. For lead, they suggested below 15 parts per billion. We were negative. Uh, pesticides, the two kinds that it did test for, there were supposed to be below 3 parts per billion and 4 parts per billion. Both of ours were negative. Copper, you're supposed to be below 1.3 parts per million. We were at roughly 0 0.75. We're good there. Iron is supposed to be below 0 0.3. I was at 1.25. We knew we were going to have high iron up there, and we did. Total nitrates, nitrite, uh, whatever that combination was, was supposed to be below 10 parts per million. We were at 0 0.3. And the regular just nitrites were supposed to be below 1.0 parts per million. We were at 0 0.18. pH is supposed to be between 6.5 and 8.5. We were at 6.5. The total hardness of the water should be 50 parts per million or less. We were at 250. We knew we were going to have hard water, so basically it's saying don't wash your clothes. <laughs> total chlorine is supposed to be below 4 parts per million. We were at 0. So basically looking at all of this as far as drinking water, we're doing good. But the big one here is the bacteria. And we'll be back in two days and we will check that out and end this video. Well, here we are. Uh, it's a little bit over 48 hours later. We waited our two days. This was the most exciting test right here. And with this one here, if it was yellow, it had bacteria. And if it was purple, there was no bacteria. So I had Sarah come in here because I have a little trouble with colors and uh, she looked at it and she goes, that is purple. So that's really good news. So you guys watched uh, buying the parts, had to excavate the hole because of all the rocks, put the parts in, uh, got water pumping and had to pump forever to get it clear and at the end of the day we have a workable pump with completely drinkable water. Thanks a lot for watching the last part of the tent well.